Okay, uh, many people may ask uh, this question, why another blockchain? Because right now, uh, we have the Bitcoin blockchain, we have Ethereum blockchain, and also we have more than 1,000 altcoin blockchain. Uh, since Satoshi Nakamoto released the, the open source project uh, last uh, eight years, there are more and more uh, industry users and the community members, they are, uh, they are contribute to the code uh, every day. And also, Ethereum, they did a great job because at the first version of uh, Bitcoin uh, white paper, the Satoshi mentioned that he may want to do the contract, but he, he disappeared. So uh, after that, Ethereum, they, they, uh, they, did, they added the smart, con uh, smart contract concept on the blockchain system. So it's a very revolutionary concept and uh, some new uh, innovation for the whole blockchain industry. And right now, the Bitcoin ecosystem and the Ethereum ecosystem, uh, they are growing bigger and bigger as an open source community. So why we, why we wanted to do another blockchain? Uh, from, from our point of view, we think the blockchain is still uh, uh, at the very early stage uh, for this industry. And we wanted to uh, build a bridge between the real world, real business world to the blockchain world. So that's the reason why we design quantum system. And uh, we have the uh, quantum, uh, we will go through the topic. Uh, so for the quantum system, I wanted to highlight some uh, features. Like we, we design uh, the, the, the uh, we design the, the cons consensus, uh, it's like the incentive proof of stake. It's based on the proof of stake 3.0, 3 but we add the incentive to the small balance nodes. And we add the quantum oracle and the quantum data feeds. Through the oracle and the data feeds, we can bring the real world business logic into blockchain. And we can bring the regulator and the government to the blockchain too. So by this way, we can bring the bridge between quantum and the real world. Also, we have the quantum standard API and we build the application based on the API. And we will offer also the uh, ID and the mobile DApp uh, store for the quantum developer. So uh, before I design the quantum blockchain, I'm thinking what we need for the current blockchain ecosystem. Uh, I think a very big gap between Bitcoin user and Ethereum user is like, uh, usually they do not like each other. The reason is like, yeah, uh, this is a Bitcoin user, this is Ethereum user. So I wanted to bring, to build the bridge to be compatible with Bitcoin and also with uh, Ethereum. So the quantum system can add value both to Bitcoin community and uh, to quantum community, uh, to Ethereum community. And the second design principle is like it's a modular design. And also it's a secure principle is we will choose the technology is very mature right now. Also the usability is very important because the first time I'm do I'm, I downloaded the Bitcoin wallet, it's like a Windows 9.5 style. So it's a very old design. It's a very old UI design. It's very hard for uh, aver average internet user to use blockchain or to use any Bitcoin wallet or Ethereum wallet. But right now for Bitcoin, they have some mobile wallet right now. So for the consensus, I, I wanted to highlight the, the concept. The consensus is you can divide it into public blockchain and uh, the permission blo blockchain. They have different requirements. For the public blockchain, you need to consider how people can easily access your blockchain. So we wanted to encourage a uh, small user, they can keep online to secure the blockchain network. And for the permission blockchain, it's more like you have a limited group. You can trust each other. You need to select the leader of, of your use of your uh, of, of, of the data and of your user. And for the virtual machine, since the Ethereum virtual machine, they, has, they have released more than one year, so for the quantum uh, virtual machine part, we will support the Ethereum virtual machine. But we want also uh, to develop a more uh, a, a new uh, coding language, or a new smart, smart contract code language for Ethereum machine. Uh, that's, other, that's different from Solidity. And we wanted to support the Ethereum version uh, 2.0. And also we are researching the possibility to research more virtual machine, like Node.js or LLVM or Lua. So everyone, they are talking about the concept like a smart contract. But from our point of view, 
we wanted to, we, we did some innovation for the, for the smart contract. We wanted to make a smart contract has more real use case in the real world. So we highlight the, the another concept, the concept is master contract. So for smart contract, all the trigger condition come from the blockchain itself. For the master contract, you can bring the, you can bring the off-chain data, like the, like the last year, the GDP of China was the last year, the CPI of Shanghai. So you can bring the, the real world business data into the blockchain. But for smart contract, usually the, the, the trigger condition come from the, uh, the blockchain itself. I, in some way, you can say the blockchain itself is a closed system. So we wanted to open the, the port or open, the, open the, uh, the rule for the real world. So we, we wanted to highlight the master contract concept. And for Oracle and the data feeds, so how do you design the, a master contract? By, because through the master contract, you have more control, you have more power, and you have more influence on the blockchain. So how can, how can you assess the, uh, the, the blockchain through the master contract? You need a data feed and Oracle. You need a, you need a trusted data feed, and you need a trusted Oracle to bring you the the real world data into the blockchain, uh, very secure. And uh, uh, for the data feeds, I, we will bring the game theory. So we, uh, you maybe you need a secure deposit to be a, to be a data source. Uh, we, have a white, we have a white paper to, uh, in details to, uh, to describe the data feeds and Oracle. And also, for the data feeds and Oracle, it's also a bridge for the, for the real world and uh, to, the, to the blockchain world. Also, when we talked to some banks and uh, some financial system in China, or some banks in China, or some uh, enterprise use case, they worry they worry about a lot about uh, the identity, because for the Bitcoin system, it's a peer-to-peer -peer ca uh, e cash system. They do not have identity; they only have the public key. And uh, so, but for the real world banking system, they need uh, the identity because they need uh, the KYC, they need uh, the AML, and also they need uh, the privacy too. For Bitcoin and for Ethereum right now, uh, oh, um, even you are an anonymous, but uh, you have the, you do not have uh, much privacy. The reason is like uh, even people do not uh, do not know you, but uh, they can trace all your transaction. So we we wanted to highlight the KYC and the AML. So we will use smart contract to do the to do the uh, identity part. Like if you on the quantum blockchain, you can be a verified user. And you can be a, um, uh, you can maybe a non non verified user, and we will distinguish you from the uh, the address type. Like for a verified user, your address maybe start from number one, and for a non verified user, your your address start from number two. For a verified user, you can you have you have more priority to assess the decentralized application system uh, for the financial industry. For the privacy, since the quantum system is based on the UTXO model. It's because the UTX model is bas basically the, uh, the architecture for the Bitcoin. So we wanted to bring the Zcash, uh, or the Z Zcash protocol, because Zcash protocol is also based on the UTXO model. So for the quantum blockchain, it's also uh, industry oriented, and uh, we have a strategy. The strategy is Go Mobile, because the Go Mobile, I s personally, I think it's the only way to bring blockchain technology to a very uh, to get a more and more users, to bring the mobile industry user to the blockchain community. So we wanted to highlight, uh, it's a, it's a, we have the Go Mobile strategy, so we wanted to develop the mobile wallet, the mobile decentralized application. Because right now, uh, we checked a lot of decentralized application on Ethereum ecosystem. Uh, most of them, they are still stay in the uh, personal computer, they have the PC client. But most of uh, decentralized applications, they do not have the mobile, uh, op mobile clients yet. So we wanted to do the mobile smart contract and the mobile, uh, mobile decentralized applications through the mobile device. So thank you very much. Quantum, uh, 我感觉这是一个特别完整的一个体系
有没有兴趣加入这个超级账本做我们另外一个 incubator？ 现在呢 ，IBM 的 Fabric 是一个呃。英特尔的一个呃 POT 基于 POT 的是一个，那如果他们如果加入进来，相相相信对这个，呃，对这个社区的发展是呃很有帮助。Um, I would also think that it's、um, great to see like more pro more projects looking at the kind of bottom level technology and consensus algorithms. I mean that's also I think an area where Like really analyzing the economic incentives and making sure that you have a system that's that is secure and where the incentives are are actually are robust is very important.、Um, another thing that I think is、uh, important in designing these systems is modularity. So, I, for example, I don't think that you should have one project which is trying to make a blockchain and trying to make every single application on top of it at the same time. So, I think that it's. Entire, it, it, it's completely reasonable and like even the best way to do things. If you have a blockchain and then where that one project does not does not necessarily by itself think about you know how it integrates with every single government system, how it integrates with、uh, like different data feeds from the real world, because one team is never big enough to do that. And especially once you start thinking about multiple industries, multiple countries, and it's、uh, that's. But at the same time, you definitely want to make your platform friendly for application developers to themselves make those kinds of integrations, and ideally for those kinds of integrations to be usable for many applications at the same time.